I'm gonna try a fry here. Mmm, they're crispy. They're soft. They're big. Ooh, they're hot. What's up everyone? This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here. I'm in the Atlantic Ocean on Isla Verde Beach in Puerto Rico. I'm staying at this hotel, the Intercontinental San Juan. I love this place. They have over 350 rooms. I'm staying in a club suite. They have happy hour every day from 5 to 7 p.m. And they're located on this two mile beach and five minutes away from the airport. And tonight, I'm taking you to Lote 23. Lote 23 is a food truck paradise. Oh, who's that? <laughs> Lote 24? 20? 3, 3, 3. <laughs> 23. So Lote 23, and by the way, this is my name, if you don't know her, you haven't been watching my channel, obviously. <laughs> so Lote 23 is a food truck paradise. There's lots of food trucks, Puerto Rican food, Asian food, Latin American food. I am so excited, I can't wait. They've told me that the past two years, food trucks have exploded in Puerto Rico. I'm excited, how about you? You want to eat traditional food, you have to go there. We will go. Yeah? Yes, of course. All right, let's go. There's nothing like Isla Verde Beach. This is one of the best beaches in the United States. Puerto Rico is a U.S. territory. It's only a two and a half hour flight from Miami. Very well connected. And it's a great stopping point to other islands in the Caribbean. I recommend personally staying at least a week. I would do two weeks to cover the entire island. It's a big island. Lots of things to do, see, and eat. Now let's go eat. Dude! <laughs> Dude. Hey, gracias, amigo. I'm ready. I want to eat mucho. <laughs> we are somewhere in the middle of San Juan. And right there is Lote 23. As you can see, it's like an area full of food trucks. Oh my god, I can't wait to eat. Lota 23 has 15 food trucks. Two of them are bars that have cocktails and craft beers. The other 13 are chef-driven trucks, meaning they have restaurants in the city and they decided to be part of Lota 23 and open up their own food truck. Let's go inside, let's have some food, let's drink some craft beers. I'm excited, let's do it. Penileria, and this place has craft beers. So I decided to go with this bourbon barrel quad. 11% beer, very strong. Hey guys, cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers! Team Puerto Rico! Mm. Yes, it's very light. Delicious. I like it. Mine's strong as no, 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 no. Right, So we are eating some fries. You, you can put something like right, ketchup, knife, but chorizo. That's good. Parcha. Tamarindo. I'm gonna try a fry here. Mmm, they're crispy. They're soft. They're big. Ooh, they're hot. Yeah. This is called Bayard. They make French fries. Incredible French fries. Very big, thick, crunchy. Just delicious. And they also come with like different sauces. Here they have ketchup, garlic, rosemary. We are getting chorizo and Andalusia. Chorizo and Andalusia. Sauce. We have to because we're Mexican. Yeah. We're Mexican. It has to be spicy. I'm American, he's American too. <laughs> yeah. Let me... Next up, we ordered some tacos at Señor Bigotes. And if you didn't know, bigote means mustache. Señor Bigotes specializes in creative tacos. We ordered the mariachi and the turco. The mariachi is mixed meats and the turco is very similar to carnitas tacos. I started off by trying the chorizo french fries from Bayard. We got them with two spicy sauces on the side. They were so good. Spicy, crunchy, and full flavor. Next, I had the mariachi taco and it was fire. We looked around a bit and found a place called Alcapuria Quema. Here they serve fiambreras, which are traditional Puerto Rican bowls that have either meat, chicken, corned beef, roba vieja, carne asada, chicharron, veggie, or codfish served on top with rice, beans, and tostones. Traditionally, fiambreras was food for the working class. Fiambrera literally translates into everything mixed into a big plate. The fiambrera was a very filling dish, 
Such a great combination of flavors. I highly recommend trying this when you visit Lotte 23. Lastly, we visit La Pernilleria to try a pernil sandwich, which is slow roasted marinated pork. In case you didn't know, Puerto Rico is famous for their pork. What? This sandwich is unreal, and it's a staple in the local cuisine. It's very different. This is antro, carrots, also has like fried plantain. And definitely get here around 8 o'clock, because right now it's 10 o'clock, and it's emptying out. We tried so many awesome foods. There really is a lot of variety here if you're looking to sample lots of different flavors. Make time and make room in your stomach when you come to this food truck paradise. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to subscribe to Maria de Viaje as well. See you on the next adventure in Puerto Rico.